Hey guys, it's divineformerge.com. As you can see, I'm currently on Darkscape, and for those of you who are unfamiliar, this is not some RuneScape private server. It's a game by Jagex that was released today, which is basically a uh, Deadman mode for RuneScape 3 with a few differences. And I'll be showing you some sped up footage throughout the video. I think it's very neat to see this update as a surprise from Jagex rather than them pulling it or hyping it up too hard beforehand. I think it's going to be a lot of fun for people who feel like they have accomplished everything in Ars 3 already. There are no accomplishments on there anymore that mean anything at all as everyone has all of the pets and all of the 200 million XP's and all kinds of variations of accounts with special stats. It's all been done over and over. But on this game every milestone is going to be very meaningful, at least for quite a while. Now I know Old School is getting that man mode, which will be even more challenging than this. And I've read some concerns that the community is getting too divided with both Deadman mode and Darkscape now. And I do agree it is getting divided, but I don't see it as a bad thing. I'd rather see people enjoy the game in various ways than people mindlessly aiming for 200 million XP goals that thousands of others already got before them that don't really add any value to their life. At least this way people are having a lot of fun. Now some tips to help you get started on here. The Circus is currently in Lumbridge and it will help you to get an easy 10 agility ranged and magic around there. Uh, then the Nexus is south of Lumbridge which is an easy way to help you get 43 prayer pretty much for free very quickly. Waterfall Quest will help you to get high attack and strength and that's about it. As for merchanting I think it's going to be very interesting on Darkscape. As a merchant you basically need to become a tank and always wear a lot of gear and have a lot of food on you and a means to escape. While there are guards around, they won't save you from a clan ganging up on you for your future millions of GP when you're trying to put in some offers in a Grand Exchange. Now as you probably noticed there are three separate Grand Exchange systems in this game which is a bit odd and it will be pretty annoying for merchanting, but it will also open up some opportunities. The prices for items will vary on all three exchanges, so if you're smart about it, you'll be able to make profit by moving items between them here and there. There's a lot of risk involved in doing so, of course, but higher leveled items will be a lot rarer at the safer Grand Exchange, and there won't be much of the common stuff uh, at the higher Grand Exchange. Now, this means the most successful merchants will actually need in game skills for once. High agility, hit points, defense and magic levels will help you to move stuff between banks and exchanges quite a lot. The reason why I say magic is because if you're able to freeze opponents running after you that's going to be very helpful to uh, save yourself some time and probably save your skin. Now you can of course stick with merchanting at one exchange, that's really not a problem, but like I said before you'll need to be some kind of tank account to not risk getting uh, killed really quickly. But the issue with sticking with one exchange on here is going to be that you won't be able to keep up with players that move stuff around in the long term. And standing a lot in one spot all the time is really going to make you a target, so uh, that's not very easy. Having friends or a clan will also be very helpful to move stuff around uh, between the banks and exchanges. So that's really likely something people will pretty much be forced to do, have at least a group of friends so they can be singled out by one person. Now it's not really an ideal environment for just merchanting in the end, that's kind of my conclusion. The game is very much designed for PvP and I think you'll have a lot more fun with it if you can combine merchanting with the rest of the gameplay and especially if you can stick with a bunch of friends and have a lot of fun. Now as for me, I won't really be playing it. Um, it does look like fun to me, but I sadly don't really have the time to get into this as I've been uh, very busy. Even if I had time, I know I'd just lose interest after a while if I uh, couldn't do that much merchanting or if I risked losing the stuff I built up from merchanting all the time. It wouldn't be uh, that appealing to me personally, but I can imagine a lot of people having fun with this. So I hope you will as well. Take care guys, and I'll see you all again next week for another video.